Yo, what's good, man? How y'all feeling, ladies? How y'all feeling? We are good. Good. Uh, I got IJ with me. I got Imani with me. To Together. Uh, what, what is y'all company name? Site Solutions LLC. Site Solutions LLC. Yes. I yep. like that. I'm EK Strategy LLC. So EK. we separate, but we work together. Yes, we're partners. How the hell that work? <laughs> <laughs> pass me that. Pass me that. That's how, yeah, tell me, That's how, how it starts, right? Like, how how did that work? How, how, how y'all do that? <laughs> Um, that's so funny that you asked that. Um, how did it work, Imani? Who want to take that? You want to take that? Um, so honestly, it works as we kind of just pay each other out to do certain things for one another. Mm. Um, so my business is I'm definitely like a brand strategist, content creation, social media manager. Um, AJ does some of the same things that I do as well, except for content creation. So. Um, when people come to her for social media management, she's like, hey, Moni, I need content creation. Like, let's work together. Let's figure out, um, you know, really how to brand this person's business online and things like that. So she does the strategy, the written part, and I do the creation. So, so it's more like, so, <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. So it's like, so we offer managing operations and then marketing, um, social media management, digital marketing, yeah. stuff like that. Um, so like Imani said, you was pretty clear, I think. Um, it's like, <laughs> it's pretty clear. So administration, managing operations, that's more my piece. Then marketing is more hers. And then we came together as partners, um, to build people in their businesses. Mm. What makes y'all want to do this though? Like, it's kind of like, this is, this is really, uh, like a, a niche, if that makes sense. It's mm -hmm. like, it's like all these people in the, in the bubble. Not everybody do this. What makes y'all want to do this? So for me, it started out, I knew that I wanted to help people when, I started working in um in administration. Like I think I worked like as an executive assistant, and I'm like, oh, operations is really my thing. I got my master's in business administration, and then I was like, oh, <laughs> this is really my thing. And then from there, it was like, I instead of me working like for somebody else, it was more so of just like, you know what? I just want to help people build their businesses, and that's kind of where it started. Like mm -hmm. I want to help people, and then I want to work in business. So with that, it's like, you know. What about you? Um, so mine definitely started in, I always knew from like a young age that I wanted to be in communications. Um, my undergrad degree is actually in broadcast journalism. Um, so while I was learning that, I was like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to be a news anchor. I don't want to be on TV. I want to be behind the scenes. Um, so I started, you know, doing video editing, things like that. Um, but the social media management part and the content creation definitely came from me being bored in the house, I had a newborn, so I was on maternity leave for like two, three months. Um, so I was just like, let me just see, you know, and I just started it. So you be editing videos and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you feel like <laughs> oh, that? God. <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to get you to move, you feel me? Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I do. Atlanta is a spot. I used to do edit YouTube videos, the sounds, everything. So, so I'm really good at video editing, but I stopped for a while. But what made you say like, yo, fuck that, I'm going to just do this? Um, Because I... You know, like when people on YouTube, you gotta be on YouTube for a long time to start making money. Be consistent, yeah. Right. So I was like, mm, you know, I need to get a, a full time job. Uh, so I became a teacher, <laughs> mm. um, and I was an English and journalism teacher for like two, three years. Um, so I really couldn't balance YouTube being a teacher. Um, I was taught middle school at that. Um, so I had a lot of essays to grade and things. Um, but in the midst of that, I had my son. So, question first of all, how was that? Be what honest. is that, it's, honestly? First of all, it's very smooth. It's, it's smooth, right? It's very smooth. I told you. By the end of this. <laughs> I, <laughs> I said you got to be careful. Like, I'm not sure. It's like, yo, how no. was it? What's your, what's your first name? Kalia. Kalia, how was it, Kalia? It like, it's like, you want some more? Look <laughs> here. <laughs> like, he's dangerous. Told, yo, yeah. so like, shout out to Bumble. You know what I'm saying? They supply us with the drinks tonight. Um. Yeah, so shout out, to, shout out to you for drinking it, consuming it. And if you want some more, it's just right there. It's fine. Yeah, shout okay. out to you. I'm so, not a dark girl. So, yo, y'all. He do is definitely dark. It kind of sound like y'all contract each other, but y'all still have a company together? Like, mm, Kind of subcontract. Yeah. But we really partners. Like, we really came into this on some, like, I think I, re I used to watch her YouTubes. So, well, first of all, I went to middle school with Imani. That's not fair. <laughs> we know each other since we was like 12 we know, years old. No, seriously, like, and it's crazy. And then after last year, I was like, you know what? I was doing my business 
without a business. Um, so that's the biggest thing. That's kind of really why I say I need to help businesses because mm. so many people have businesses, but they don't even know they have businesses. Hey, I'm Jay um, without a business. Yeah, I got <laughs> like, a business without you a business. out here just helping people all day Aww. and doing stuff, doing people hair, doing people nails, giving people this, giving people that. And you like, no, I have a talent mm-hmm. and I have a craft. Not so, fair. um, so yeah, so this is what I do. So it started like from there, and then I reached out to Imani, and I just was like, I think I was watching her. She posted something on her business page. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow, I went to middle school with her. Mind you, it was crazy because as soon as I launched Site Solutions, I ran to, I never seen her business page. So that was when I first saw it. I didn't even know she did this stuff. Um, so then I reached out to her like, I think we do some very similar work. Like, we need to talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, we need to talk. And then I think we took like a couple weeks. And we kept yeah. going back and forth through text. I'm like, let me just call her real quick. Like, let me really just call her. And then I think I called her. And I'm like, we do the same kind of work. Could we... um? Can we talk about like partner? Because at first I was looking to just subcontract. I'm like, listen, my business growing and it's my going shit too booming. fast. I don't know about shit, shit, but <laughs> my and shit then it's very much so. So it was it was going we crazy. We going 10k a month over here. Just saying. Hour, hour, My bad. It was discount <laughs> price. My bad. 10k hour. <laughs> like that's what I get. You don't tell them. You don't tell the people. The people I don't need another pricing um, right now. Yeah. Nah, but but yeah, that's really how it happened. Like I ended up reaching out to her and she was on board. Like, yo, tell me what you need help with, and I'm like. I need some assistance because the business is growing. It's growing too fast. And one person as a business, I was an employee and a CEO. Right. You can't do both. Mm. <laughs> you can't do both. Um, you always going to need a team to carry you. And she was, she jumped right on board. And I'm telling you, nights, we on the phone, like, every single day. It's Girl. like, work. <laughs> so we're talking business, right? Yeah. But I want to sidetrack for a second. I'm going to get back to the business. Oh, God. You guys <laughs> hit me. On the Zoom, like, yo, Jay, we gotta Zoom. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna email you this. <laughs> we gotta get this together. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta. I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, just pull up. We gonna talk and it, whatever come from it, come from. He like, nah. So we gotta do. But email you this. I'm like, all right. Got on the Zoom. Y'all was cool. Like yeah. y'all was like dope individuals. Like, Did you like, not think we was yeah. gonna be cool? No, 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 no. It's not that. Listen, <laughs> what did listen, you listen, think? Listen, listen, listen. listen. I'm, so I'm like, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, they cool, right? But they pull up the day and. You know what, what, what they say to guys? What they, what they say to God. guys? Oh, you, you, clean, you clean up nice. That's what they say to guys. You clean up nice. Y'all come in like as transform as bad. I can't, can I say it? No, like, you can't. I can't say it? All right, you can say it. Y'all come in like as bad bitches. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, wait. You was like, yeah. Yes. So I want to ask y'all this. Being an attractive woman in this field, right? How many times do you come across somebody that's like, not really serious, but they just want to get close to you. Or Ooh. do you come to that? I'm about to say, I was oh. just talking about this today. Ooh. It happens all of the time. Especially, um, it happens on Instagram, in my DMs. Mm. Like, if someone is trying to talk to me and, you know, I'm not giving them no play, no game, nothing. They, oh, I need help with my business. I'm like, <laughs> well, schedule consultation. Mm. They're like, oh, how I do it? Can I call you? No, you can email me. Like, and they never email me. <laughs> never get back to you. So I just For <laughs> me, it'd be like, it'd be the weirdest times. Like, I'll go to a networking event. It's like, mm. oh, what you, oh, networking, even those are the best ones. Oh, them di- oh, that's like, go smack, go smack. <laughs> like, go smack that's time. your opportunity to get, go in. Um, but networking events is the best because it be the men. But the thing be, it be the men, the corporate men, the mm. men with a lot of money. Mm-hmm. They run big old thousand million dollar companies, trucking companies and be like, oh, so what you do? Um, well, I could pay that. I could right. do that. And, and that's their way of uh, getting in. <laughs> Getting to know us and getting to talk. So, so, so like, and, and, and we can joke about it, but like on a serious note, how important is it to 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 represent you guys, being attractive women, being young into this, but also representing the professionalism into it, right? To show like I'm putting my foot down, like nah, like I get it. Even if he got money, even if he attractive, even if whatever the case may be, how is it? How how important is it to be like you know like nah, I'm a businesswoman. You feel me? Like, and, and you got to come correct. How how important is that to your image or? to your business when it comes to that how important is that um it's super important like mm-hmm. we run i run a business consulting firm so that alone it stands it says it is what it is like you know i'm always i'm always gonna look nice you know what i mean so it's all in about being professional you know what i mean i'm always bringing people back and sticking to the purpose mm. i'm here to build your business you know what i mean i want to grow your brand when i when you come to me and ask for my help, I then become a part of your business and a part of your team. So now it's time right. for me to grow your platform. And that's kind of what I stick to. It's like any job. You know what I mean? When you go into regular corporate America and somebody's like, you know, you got the person from HR or the, or the janitor boy. He like, oh, what's up, what's up? It's like, right. yeah, hey, no. Like, thank you. You know, you take the compliment because I'm not rude. But at the same time, I have one focus, and that's growing your platform. I want to ask both of y'all this. <clears throat> and this is 
literally like off script. That's why I say oh, I never know what I want to <laughs> talk about. Um, if 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 you're not comfortable, it's fine answering it. But I seen somebody post something. And I thought it was so interesting today, and the gist of it was basically you know like so many other races um like jock out swag and we love it mm-hmm. right like we see asian people like i mean i don't want to be ignorant but it is what it is we probably see them talk black whatever that means mm-hmm. like they hip you get what i'm saying and as black consumers we love it but the moment the black business does it it's like you ghetto it's mm-hmm. like you unprofessional I, like and i'm gonna I'm show y'all a video <laughs> just so y'all can understand exactly what i'm saying i want i want to get y'all opinion from it i'm gonna uh i'm gonna play this i want to see what y'all say my bad Oh, this is what she said. It's okay to be yourself and still. Hold up. I don't. I don't even know how to work. Can 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 somebody? All right. It's okay to be. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm on. Here we go. She's a lawyer. I'm going to just stop right there. Do y'all feel like in y'all <laughs> specific um area of work that people of different races and different colors like use us as selling points and they, and they, and they try to like jock our culture and, and sell to us or have y'all not gotten there yet? If if not, it's fine. But I'm just curious to know if y'all saw that. And even if not in y'all, in y'all, in y'all, in y'all specific um area of work, have you seen it like outside of your area of work and how do you feel about that? <laughs> Jake it and deep. I know. I'm like, I'm so, like, one thing about me, like, I be trying to like have fun. But, like, it, some part of it has just always come back to the. Um, like, I be trying to have fun. It's just, I don't know. I'm like, so me personally, I haven't experienced that in the communications world. Mm. Um, I've never seen that in the communications world. Um, but I do want to just talk about, or um, you know, just touch on what she said at the beginning. Um. Being yourself is going to always attract clients, right? I never think that you should try to act like something that you're not um, to get money because you're not, like, authentically, um, you know, growing that fan base or clients, whatever. Um, like, I know me, me personally, like I said, I do have a business, right? I'm trying to be professional, but I'm also, like, a fun, outgoing type You're of personality. Also Imani. I'm yeah. also Imani, right? right? And I was a cheerleader. I love the color pink. Like, I love, like, all that stuff, right? So when you look at my business Instagram, you don't see, oh, like, let me sit straight up. I'm, mm-hmm. like, on the couch, like, with my phone, chilling. Like, you know, I'm not wearing business suits. I'm not doing none of that because that's not who I am. And my clients, at the end of the day, they know who I am. But they also know I keep a certain type of professionalism with me. Um, like, I'm strictly, like, contracts, invoices. Like, this is what we're doing. And um, I just have that respect. Like, people, honestly, I don't even have that many social media followers. But I have a lot of clients because of word of mouth. And people are like, you know, Imani's good. She's on point. She's on time. Like, I never have no problems with her. Um, and that's just who I am. So. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that, too, though. I feel like, you know, you got to be your authentic self. Yeah. That's have you, have you seen, like, other cultures try to emulate us and try to get the sales from trying to be like us or no um <laughs> as an african-american woman <laughs> entrepreneur i'm always gonna say that somebody has tried to take something that we have created we have started and try to turn it into something else mm. or use it and try to make it seem like they was the first person to do it um you figure you found that in corporate when i worked corporate before mm-hmm. i even became a full-time entrepreneur i would bring up an idea to my director and the next thing you know the idea is is getting you know it's being done and i'm like and i'm getting no credit for it and yeah. it's just like who is this woman like this this was me this has my name written all over it um so i think it has happened i haven't experienced it yet as a business owner um of somebody <laughs> actually coming in and taking you know something that i've done and tried to redo it um cuz they can never do it like me cuz 
can't do it like I was me. like, actually, I do want to <laughs> say I have seen it, but it came from another black, another black um woman. Wow. That one stole another black woman's like whole right. platform, mm-hmm. whole creative thing. So do y'all mm-hmm. believe in like I guess when we having these consultations, right? Mm-hmm. It's bringing it back to the business. When you're doing these consultations, it's like, yo, we need to sign an NDA because I might even give you an idea that I don't want you to give or is that a part of the job? The ideas that I get you give to you in that <laughs> conversation belongs to you. How does that work? So in the contracts, um, it's it is stated that as long as you're working underneath the contract, you can't use any of the stuff that we have. Mm. So for an example, if like if I'm creating a strategy plan for you, I'm doing some operations, you can't as long as your contract is going, you can't take any of my stuff and use it in your business without, you know, on your own. So that is very clear in the contracts um across the board of reusing the stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, once your contract is over, you say, hey, the contract's over. I want to go and do my own thing. I'm going to use some of the stuff that I got from you. For me, um, my purpose is to make, is for your business to grow. So with that being said, it's kind of like if we work together, you know, yeah, I want you to take everything that I taught you when you leave me because I don't plan to have a client for the rest of the, that client's business. I plan to get you to a certain point, and then from there, you go. So you can take what I'm giving you because that's why I'm giving that to you. Um, I want to see you excel at the end of the day. You know what I uh, love about you too, and probably not you as much because I haven't heard you speak so much um, <laughs> as much. <clears throat> IJ, f- f- for sure, is I love the business oriented. Like, it's gonna sound crazy, but this is what I love. Okay. Like I you're about it your already. money. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Some people take that wrong. Right. Mm. I love it, and I say that because I feel like you guys are like always like I'm so old and shit. I feel like I'm seeing you guys come up, and a lot of the mistakes that I made, but. I, you know how they say I don't regret nothing because mm-hmm. like it, it made me who I am. Like I got a mm-hmm. lot of situations, a lot of good deals of because of how generous I was, mm-hmm. how authentic and genuine I was. But one thing I like about you because I didn't have that is like, nah, it's about this money, nigga. Like right. you cool. It's no, not you still gonna pay this check. Me and Audrey yeah, about no. the money. Like. But you yeah. know what? <laughs> I, I appreciate you saying that, Jay, and that mm-hmm. really means a lot because um, with Site Solutions, I'm building this by myself from the mm-hmm. ground. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like this is my everything. This is my passion. You know what I mean? This is something that I created. Like, when I became an entrepreneur, it wasn't something that I knew was going to happen. Like, literally, probably, what, six months ago? Right. Like, you couldn't you pay you me to think. fired or something. Yeah, like. something. Like, it came out of nowhere. So, when people say, how you become an entrepreneur, I'm like, entrepreneurship found me. I right. didn't find it. Mm. And when it was placed on me, I almost didn't believe it. And now I'm sitting here in Atlanta with Jay, and I'm right. like, this is my new life. I think I like it a lot. Um, so if it, for you to say that, you know, that means that you're seeing my passion. Yeah. You're seeing that, you know what I mean, this is everything to me. And so I give it my all. Um, and, you know, from college, I was a filmmaker, all that good stuff, too. So everything that I do, you know what I mean, Site Solutions is one part of RJ. So, oh, my God, this is like you read my mind, right? So even, like, your, your business, your business, Imani, both of y'all business together, how do you differentiate, like, that part of RJ, right? Because, like, even when I was in school, I remember, like, I was – I had, uh, got kicked out of Morgan. I went to cop and I became Mr. Cop and I'm a Q. I'm mm-hmm. all of these things, right? But I never forget, like, for me, I always wanted to, everything to be a part of me. And I learned this in, like, my senior year of college. I never forget it. And it was dope that I learned it because I didn't, I never agree with it. This, this is what happened. I was a Q and I, I believe in, still to this day, I believe in, like, sometimes you got to feed people candy inside of that medicine. Well, medicine inside of that candy. Mm-hmm. And what that means is if I come up to a, a t- come up to a kid and say, yo, here's some medicine that's good for you, they're not going to want it. I don't want that. But if I say, hey, it's some candy, they're going to want it. Mm-hmm. It's, that's what they, they want, yeah. right? But if it's I put like some medicine... <laughs> right, but if, exactly. But if I put some medicine in that candy, they're going to take it. Mm-hmm. I say that to say, like, when I was Mr. Cop, and one thing about me, I was never, like, the smartest, the brightest, the... I was bright, but I wasn't the smartest or, like, the most... I wasn't able to, like, articulate, like, the smart kids. Mm-hmm. But I was able to get to the kids that couldn't understand their articulation, if that right. makes sense. So... Where I'm going with this is like when I was a Q, when I was Mr. Cop, and I used to always necro. I was do these necro videos, and people loved it. And oh, Jay, I remember. Yeah, so the, <laughs> the, the, the university, the university, the university didn't like it because it was like, yo, that doesn't stand for Mr. Cop. when you mm-hmm. in a suit and tie, you're Mr. Cop. Right. And I'm like, nah. But if I'm neck rolling, yeah, I might have a hundred girls that like the neck rolling, whatever the case may be. But I'm gonna have some young boys out there or some young men out there that's gonna right. listen to my message. Mm-hmm. But what I understood from that was. Yo, Coppin State University don't represent Omega Sci-Fi fraternity. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And Omega Sci-Fi fraternity, 
don't represent Coppin State University. And, mm-hmm. and it can intertwine sometimes, but this ain't the time. When you right. wanna when you on a stage, you having a conversation, it ain't the time. So when you talk about you it's so many different sides of IJ, right? You can be turned up, getting lit, mm-hmm. but you also can be suit and tie look, I ain't with the shit. Right. So like how do y'all differentiate like are you having a hard time? Is it has it came um, naturally to you? Like, how do you differentiate the different I parts of you and your business? It's a time and place. Mm. You know what I mean? It's I was a about time to say and that. place. Yeah. It's a time and place. Like, if I'm turning up, it's, I'm not about to post that on my business page, right? And mm. I probably won't even post that on my personal page because it's public too. So you have the close friends, right? Um, and just like you said, you was uh, a Q, you was Mr. Coffin, um, all of those things that represent who you are. That's the same for me. Like, I was a cheerleader. Um, like I said, I was outgoing. I was a teacher. So I'm a mom. So people probably like, how is she doing all these things? Like, what? how is she a businesswoman, a mom, this and this and this? So it's just like, it's a time place for everything. It's no way I'm going to be on the consultation. It's going to be something. Let's go. We about to build your brand. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, mm. why would I act like a cheerleader? But I am going to be, you know, excited about it. But it's just a time and place for everything. So, mm. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I think it's a time and place for everything. Um, just knowing, you know, when to turn it on and when to turn Turtle it off. You know, that's, that's the most important thing. Like, hey, I'm doing business right now. When I'm about business, I'm about business. You talk to me about business, it's about money. You know what I mean? We two business owners. So, it's, I don't have time to do this. Like, you know, this this drink right here, we it's like we socializing, you know, but at the end of the day, like we here to do something. We have a job and it's time to get that job done. And 100%. that's you know, by any means necessary. Now, later when we go out, I'm I'm relaxed then. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. This is the time it's is when I'm here, I'm here. It's like when you you know how you say you show up in different places, like you go to church. Like, come on, you you're not bringing it to the church. You know what I mean? It's a different place. When you go to the bar, I'm bringing this. But when I go to an interview, I'm acting like this. But when I go there, so people might call it fake, you know what I mean? Like you switching up, but environment gonna change you. Yeah. Like, like when when you got to Atlanta, you wasn't you're not acting how you was when you was in Baltimore. <laughs> you can't do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, it, you really you ain't gonna fit. But I do think it is important to show all of those pieces to you because um someone who probably was, you know, I don't want to just keep using myself like as a cheerleader. But if somebody was a cheerleader, they're like, oh, I do want to turn into a businesswoman. They're probably like, oh, Imani did it, right? right? So I could do it too. Right. Oh, like she's a mom. I could be a business owner too. So it is important to show, you know, the different sides of you on social media. How do you balance? It's totally up to you. Mm. I know some people who have their business and personal life on social media, they show everything. Their house, their house buying process, their husband's. That's not who I am. And then, too, it's kind of <laughs> how you want to market, though. Yeah. Because it's a client for everybody. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's, it's an audience for everybody. Exactly. I was about to go into that. I feel like, you know, I learned that in college, and, and, and I, I definitely understand it. Part of me just still don't agree because, like, I feel like when you're self-made, you can do whatever you want. Right. And what happens is when you're self-made, nobody can take nothing away from you. When I was Mr. Coppin, yeah, I, I got there myself, but that still was under uh, an, an umbrella of a university. Right. Right? So, like, I can't move how I want, but when I'm building this, I can be like, hypothetically, not saying you can't or you don't want to, whatever it can be. I could be a cheerleader and come on a consultation call and be like, hey, go. Let's, you know what I'm saying? I could do that because that's me. Some people might not like it. Some people might mm-hmm. like it. You feel me? But then when I, once I find my, my cult, that's who's who going to be me. It's really about mm-hmm. finding your target audience. Exactly. Yeah. I, um, and, like, yo, you know, it's funny because, like, <laughs> I want to, like, have fun, get lit, turn up, and shit like that. But like, it always come like this. Serious, Jay. I hate this. That's just me. You feel me? And now, what I want to say about is, the Zoom. When, I, no, when I had to send him that email, like, no, I, but Jay. I, I really, I really love, I love that. Um, like what you guys are doing because it's been so. Like I said, you feel me? Like it's been so many times where like I've I've been beside people and and it's funny because like a lot of my friendships like <clears throat> kind of went left because I'm just like I always see what's in people. Mm. And in that moment, they don't really understand it, so they think I'm coming off as like impulsive or like or just like too much. And it's like I'm just pushing you to be who you want, right. like who you're gonna be. They, mm-hmm. Then they become we we don't be as cool. Then they become that person, and everybody's back and say thank. I'm like, damn, we could have kept being friends. Right. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but I was doing too much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I say to say like I I fuck with what you guys are doing. Um, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna get y'all. I'm gonna get y'all opinion with it. When it comes to black business, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna tell you why. Ooh. I feel like, honestly. Let me sit up. I'm like, Ooh. child. It, I was just talking go. about this here, today. Here we go, I was y'all. just talking hey, about we're gonna, this. We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> no, it's cool. I'm, we ready for it. We're Let's gonna go. talk some shit. When it comes to black, you ready? Let's go. No, it's fine. When it comes to black <laughs> business, you know I support whoever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and it's different. It's so it's so special because I'm in a different place in my life right now. Mm-hmm. Like when I was in Baltimore, I was going through some shit. You feel me? Like I was I was grinding. 
so hard to like chase my dream. Mm-hmm. Now I'm at a place where I'm balancing. I got a good job. First time I've ever had a job like this. And I'm getting a couple of dollars where I can do what I want. If I'm paying somebody, it's out of my pocket and I'm okay with that. I say that to say like when it comes to black business, I found out so far that like I'm supporting black businesses, but they're not really being professional as the mm. other bigger businesses, right? Jake. So it's like, why are you being like this? It's like, nah, because it's <laughs> like, yo, it needs it's to be like, no, it does. And it's like, so it it's like, I don't never want to downplay a black business no, ever. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, if you want to be a business, be a business. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yo, if you if you give me an expected delivery date, deliver it by then. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't deliver it, just communicate. Let me tell you this. This is a crazy story, and it's so funny you said that. So fresh out the gate when I launched Site Solutions, I got like six clients right off hand. Mm. Um, so I had a client good paying client, like I'm talking about good paying client, black owned business. I'm thinking like, cool, we about to really turn this up. I'm thinking, who's she talking and, about? I know uh, exactly. <laughs> and you know, when people, when people businesses are not making certain money or not doing a way that they wanted to do, you know, they get real grimy. They mm-hmm. get real grimy. And I had a situation where I had a client who they stopped paying. And it's like, you know, when you don't pay me, then I don't pay my stuff. You know mm. what I mean? So, but you're a business owner. So I know you understand that concept of not paying. Cause when you don't pay me, then I can't pay my bills. So I need you to pay me, especially when I'm executing. Right. So it was, a, it was a crazy day. I think I called him money. I'm like, yo, you know, like I almost yeah. took it personal. I, I kept saying, no, you I'm did like, take it personal. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, hold on. Cause I know this is business, but I think my feelings hurt. Cause mm. like we we together, you know what I mean? Like we we both black business owners. We both we pushing. Gang. We yeah, like <laughs> and, then I, and I'm pouring. And then this when I first launched, so I'm pouring. I'm, you know, you get that first that first one. I'm pouring everything Extra. into you. Yeah. I'm giving you and more. more. They I ain't even charging the ten thousand like I did yeah. you. Like yeah. I, I ain't even do that to them. Right. They had right. way yeah, way cheaper. Way and cheaper. you know what I mean? They stop. They just stop paying and like ghosted me. Like like straight ghosted me. And I was um I was talking about it. I'm like, yo, like this is why people. It was like a, a slap in the face. Like this is why people don't want to support black mis- businesses. Mm-hmm. And I'm mad because I'm just like, you know, I even try. I remember like reaching out to them like, well, if y'all don't got the money, we can get on a payment plan. Just pay me two dollars every every two hours, whenever you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Until your debt paid off, because it meant so much to $2 me. Two dollars like, every two hours. How hard is that? Yeah, How hard I'm, is I'm that? like, you can find <laughs> that. You know what I mean? You, you, you can find me? that on the ground somewhere. Like she like you know give me anything. I'm like just, but it was it wasn't even about the money to me. You know what I mean? It was more so about the professionalism. Like, yeah. don't ghost me because you don't have my money. Let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Let's get to the end of that. Let's figure out what this look like for us. I don't want to lose you. You know what I mean? And I don't want you to lose me. I always want us to have that. So when you talk about black businesses and, you know, how they work together sometimes and why you say, you know, you be on edge about it, I get it because you you never know what you're going to get. You know what I mean? You never know what you get, you're going to get. But I, I feel like that in all businesses. I'm like, but that any, is any where. person, but black businesses do hit home. That's where mm-hmm. RJ really comes in at, though. Like, when I tell you, we be on the phone till 3 o'clock in the morning, and she is literally drafting contracts, drafting um, policies, rules, guidelines, uh, cancellation stuff, refunds. Mm-hmm. Like, she literally. Hey, you want to be sleeping on the phone. <laughs> and I'll be like, get I up. Sleep. She's like, you have to create it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to create it. But, no, I'm like, that's really where she comes in at, especially in the business part. Like, when we get clients, like, I'll bring in a client. She gives me a client. It's definitely, like, she gives that whole we're basically creating and running your business. All you have to do is just show pay up. us. Show us. <laughs> show us. us. All you got to do is do business. <laughs> Whatever it is that Whatever you do, you just that you do that. Do, you just do it. Everything yeah. else is already literally laid out for you. So I love that. Um, and I feel like you're using the negative experiences to be positive in mm-hmm. your own experience, right? And I think that's dope. We should all learn from our mistakes. Um, Imani, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, this is going to be alley <laughs> How like how important is it to have the experience coming in, right? And what I mean by that is like getting these internships, having to work for free and doing things to just to learn and, and get something under your belt. Um, it's super important, <clears throat> honestly. Um, because that is where you are when you are doing free work, internships, things like that, that is where you are allowed to make those mistakes and learn from the mistakes and mm. grow from those mistakes, right? Um, if I'm considering myself a professional, uh, you know, professional in this field right now. I can't expect a client to pay me 2000 3000 a couple thousand a month, and I'm like, oops, I'm sorry, I messed this up. Oops, I'm sorry, I did that, right? Because they're like, well, you said you was the best. You said, like, this is why I should hire you. So you need to perform X, Y, and Z. Um, before I started, I launched my business. I had my son in 2019. I probably launched mine, like, 2020, but I was really inconsistent. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was in grad school still. Um, 
so I really had no time. But while I was in grad school and still, like I said, learning how to actually create the content, um, I invested four thousand, like over four thousand dollars in myself, taking graphic design courses, uh, purchasing like Adobe, um, Photoshop, Illustrator, Final Cut Pro, all that stuff. But I was still like, oh, my friend, like, oh, uh, I have a business, like. I'm like, oh, let me create the logo. Let me do this. Let me create the mm-hmm. content. Let me do this, right? Mm-hmm. I was literally creating so much stuff, even working for, um, not working, even, it was like this other company, I forgot. Um, it was like a, a television network company. Um, and they reached out through word of mouth. Like I told you through word of mouth and I'm creating like all this content. And she was like, do you want me to pay you anything? I'm like, no, it's fine. Like, <laughs> you don't have to pay me nothing. Literally creating so much content for free. And I think it's really important because I would not be where I'm at right now if I didn't do it. No, I ask you that because sometimes, you know, like a lot of times people jump in. So we have the experience with like IJ, right? Mm-hmm. Then we have like your experience or my experience. It's that definitely we share. different. Right? Yeah. It's different, right? So like, <laughs> but I feel like people should understand like it's different. So like sometimes it works for you to like have to get this experience and learn. You feel mm-hmm. me? I say you might be a little bit different because you went to school for this. Yeah. You know, like, he's like, nigga, I did my free shit in school. Yeah. Like, so when I'm coming out, like, I need to get paid for this yeah. shit, nigga. <laughs> so, like, I think, I think it's different. But um, one of the people you, uh, you interned for, uh, we seen them, like, come and do his thing, right? No, didn't you intern for, uh, you intern for some people, right? No? You intern for some people, right? Oh, no? I thought you were saying like a specific person. Then he said like one of the people you intern for came and do. I'm like, oh, oh, I'm saying they, they came, they, yeah. had, they had something yeah. together, yeah, and they <laughs> they wanted to do that thing. Follow me, guys. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Right. I'm Come sorry. on, gang, I got you. <laughs> I'm still being respectful, you bro. See how I got? I, nah, I know. Like, I, I, listen, I know a little something, <laughs> and we don't gotta get messy. He did his I know, research on us. Yeah, like, yeah, so, why you do homework? So I, I say that to say like, so when you see things like that, right? Because for example, I'm a, I mean. I'm going to be transparent. Like, so I'm in a relationship, Mm -hmm. right? So when I see people, I'm in a relationship for four years. I think that's a long time. When I see people in relationships for nine years break up, it it, it kind of frustrates me because it's like, damn, like I was rooting for y'all because I want to get there and I want to get further, right? So in your situation, you came directly up under somebody who had a team, two people, and now they doing that thing. Do you ever look at it like, yo, like, do you ever get scared or like, yo, um, have any expectations for your partner or like, worry that y'all might break up or how it might happen like do you ever think about that um no not really um it's a good question because if you think you was gonna leave me look, <laughs> as, I'm saying, as i'm saying no. i don't know what her whole thing is <laughs> she's not leaving me i love because i need her just as much as she yeah, needs me I must say, I don't, I don't, I love it's that. The, what's our puzzle piece it's the, we we literally say that. we with each other missing puzzle no piece. seriously we be on the phone like I'm hold like, on because you was everything i needed mm. <laughs> it's like, i love that i don't i don't have any friends i don't ever think like that honestly um um, when me and RJ speak to each other, we be like, oh, we about to be famous. Like, yeah. we going to keep growing. Like, no it's never me. like, oh, we're going to do this right now. And then, you know, in five years or not even five years, next year, I'm about to keep we, doing we this. We literally talk to each other that. like we like, celebrities. When she texts me in the morning, she say, good morning, good millionaire. Good morning, millionaire. Mm. And I be like, but I did that in my account. Like, but that's what I'm saying. I did that to all of my friends. What I just hit? All like, of my friends, their names, my best friends, best friends, BFF, millionaire, be, and their names. So y'all the type that be like, good morning, grand rising too? Y'all do that shit? Oh, no, 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 we ain't there yet. I'm just we, saying, we not, the, not the, the grand rising, please don't get there. I'm like, no The grand no, rising shit, we can throw that shit in the trash. Let's say no offense, don't do that. No offense to the grand rising people, but that's No, all offense. Throw that shit in the trash. The grand rising shit, that shit is getting on my fucking earth. I'm cracking up. Grand rising king. I'm saying I'm saying that to you tomorrow. Nah, That's go it. the fuck, go back to sleep. Grand Rising like King, nah, go to sleep. Go like, back. Good night. I'm, I'm Wake not, back up. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but no, um, definitely, I, you know, I'm the type of person that has the affirmations on the wall. Like, you know, I'm gonna be a millionaire for my business. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. Um, I really speak everything into existence. Um, it's so crazy. Even where I am right now, where me and RJ are right now, I spoke this into existence. Um. Like I said, she probably never thought that she would be here. I never thought I would be here either. So, yeah. But I also want to say, I know this is probably going off topic. You know, but it's fine. Girl, we all off topic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to say, you honestly have to have the right circle. Mm. I've lost so many friends. Like, so many friends. Like, literally, right now, me and RJ reconnected. But, you know, literally right now, if RJ was in my life, I have three friends I talk to. That's it. Those are my, I literally have three friends and then my boyfriend, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so my fourth friend. But I'm like, my circle is very small, 
But when I tell you, they are like the most supportive people ever. Like mm -hmm. when it comes to my son, when it comes, I graduated grad school in May. But even I was in grad school. Thank you. Um, you know, I was literally like struggling because I'm like, I'm trying to run this business. I got this baby. Like, I got a 15 page paper. I got to write. Like, what I'm supposed to do? My best friend, like, oh, I'll get Cameron. Don't worry about it. Like, you know, my my family. I just have a really a really great That's support real system. I'm happy you pulled that out, Imani. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no oh. it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> and it's crazy because if I could just say, like, I feel like I'm the complete opposite. Mm. Like, I feel like, yo, my friends, like, when I say I would, like, go to war for them, like, they, they carry me. Mm -hmm. Like, if it wasn't for my friends, my line sisters, I, I don't even know if I would have came here today. Like, no, seriously. I got my best friend here. <laughs> like, when I, when me and you first talked, Jay, my best friend, I call her first. I call her like, um, you know Jay Hill? Um, <laughs> go on his Instagram. You see all his followers? <laughs> I was like, he's famous. And I only famous like him. And she was like, all right, book the flights. She booked my flight mm -hmm. before I even confirmed with you that we was mm -hmm. coming here. Like, she had already had flights done. She had already had everything. All I did had show up. Makeup today, my friend, she booked that. Mm. She, she, when I got off the flight, she, she booked sent that. You had a makeup artist? Yeah, you I had a good um, job. <laughs> Kim, uh, I told you, what's her name? Motherfucker um, looking like Millie. Millie. Millie did it. Um, I don't know who Millie is, but Millie did a good job. Like. <laughs> I'm cracking up. You and she really did her up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, nah, but no, nah, because like when I got off the flight, I didn't even book myself a car ride. Mm. My friend got my Uber straight from there. Like, all right, we here with it. Okay, we did it with it. All right, we here. Call me. I could have came and I'm like, you. but you I know, I, like that. I know you would have did that. I'm gonna say, even when RJ told me, she's like, we going to Atlanta. Who I call? I'm like, okay, let me call my yeah. boyfriend. I call him. I'm like, I'm going to Atlanta. He like, we're going to Atlanta. He like, you about to? He like, I'm about to be there to support you. Like, even oh, when dope. I told my parents, that's dope as fuck. my mom like, you need to buy your plane ticket. What you need? I'm like, no, I'm fine. Like, so yeah. they, they, my, it's, my it's, son is at support home. everything. Yeah. I feel like you really need support. You I think it's dope, man. Cause like you know, like again, I. Like you guys are younger than me, and I look at it again as, like as, as inspiration, and and like I I admire you guys because like you know I feel like oh my god I just I'm not I'm not that old, but I'm old. I feel like we really <laughs> how old are you? That's what I'm thirty. I feel like we, like twenty four. Like who about to be thirty in like two days? Literally, like literally. Yeah, I think this is like twenty five, whatever, whatever. Can even still, we even if you're twenty seven. We are. Much closer to thirty. I'm happy you think that. That's about a, whatever. I, I just well, 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 not, not, not even that. Not even that. Not even that. Because let's not get it fucked up. There's a lot of young mm -hmm. niggas out there who had their business way longer mm -hmm. than I had my business. So when I talk about age, I'm talking about yeah. business wise, right? Yeah. I've been doing this for a little while now. Mm, okay. What I'm saying is, I feel like so many people walk, so you guys can run. So many people crawl, so you guys can walk, right? And I look at you guys, and I'm like, yo, I really feel it, and I and I and I, and I know you guys are gonna keep going. And I don't want none of the outside world to get in y'all ear and all the bullshit that I've seen with my mm -hmm. peers. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? I think um, which y'all got a great thing going. Um, let's talk about more of that. How can somebody book you? Like, what are what are some what what where are you at right now with y'all business? Like, where where are we going? Where are we going? How could they get in contact with us? You can call us at. Four one one three T O site eight zero zero five. It wasn't four. It wasn't four one one. I don't remember. Y'all know like, Mike Jones. <laughs> Y'all know that. It wasn't man. four one one. It was. I don't know. What was the number? Eight eight three. I'm from Prince George's County. Oh. I'm from Prince George's County three zero one. And now I live in Philly, 215. <laughs> I thought it was 267. I don't have this. I'm like, so I'm from BG. So, now, where your business at right now? Like, what, 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 what are some of the things you deal with right now in your business? Some things we dealing with? Yeah, like some of the things that's frustrating you. Like, where are you at in your business currently right now? Like, if you had to talk about it. I think like, we in a good place. We, I think we I think we starting the year off really well. Um, yeah. I think we have, we've been spoke. We did some presentations, like, at some different. Um, Fuck all that. No, 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 no. Oh, God. I'm going to tell you, listen. I'm going to tell, tell, tell you where I'm at in my business, right? So, when I first started this podcast shit, like, this in, 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 interview and shit, like, I would have to struggle every week to get a new artist or get a new person to interview, mm -hmm. right? So, like, that was annoying for me. Like, that was frustrating as fuck. You know what's frustrating right now? Mm-hmm. Trying to keep up with the people that I'm booking. Like, so mm -hmm. I told myself at the beginning of the year, I'm like, yo, I ain't doing that shit no more. I'm not about to be going into the next week trying to get somebody and not knowing who I'm going to interview. I'm not doing that. I made that vow to myself. And now 
I'm struggling to keep up with the motherfuckers because I book like <laughs> five motherfuckers a week. Yeah. So when I ask y'all where y'all at, like what's like what's frustrating y'all right now? What are some things you happy about? Like what are some humps, that, some hurdles that you got over? Like what I'm like that. RJ be like, Imani, where's the content? I'm like, RJ, I'm trying. Like <laughs> yeah. I'm trying there to read it. Like <laughs> that, that's that's the thing. That's for the me. Thing. Like in all transparency, um, as far as running a business. I'm really organized. You mm. know what I mean? So as far as that piece, I got to just be, you know, I got to give myself that pat on the back because that is. part I do well. I but what I will say. How much is it again? How not, how much? <laughs> for you, it's going to be $10,000. We already told no, you the price. Uh, like, how, what's the, like, how But no, hold on, Jay, because I do want to talk about some of the struggles, though, because, like, the the confidence, you know, sometimes. Mm. And, and saying, like, you know, encouraging yourself every day. Like, as much as I got Imani, you know what I mean? I don't wake up next to her. Mm. So, you know, as entrepreneurs, sometimes you wake up and you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to produce today if you don't want to. Mm. Like, it's, you don't put in the two weeks or for a vacation. If you're taking a vacation, like, you're taking a vacation. Today, on the flight here, I'm working while I'm on the flight. Girl, I could have chose, had my laptop up, on the flight. like, t- <laughs> all that. But I could have chose to say, like, no, nah, I'm going to do something today, so I'm not going to do it. So sometimes, you know, just telling yourself, you know, having that, that thing that pushes yourself, like, you know, that self-confidence to say, you know what, you got to get up and you got to do that. that. That's a struggle. You know, that's that's a serious struggle in entrepreneurship to be able to get up every single day and say, hey, I'm actually going to give 100% today. You guys make me want to, like, book your services. Like, you should, right because now. we really work. Like, no, I was up from do. 6 a.m. yesterday. And <laughs> now, I you sound like you be sleep on the meetings. I don't know, but I'll do it. I'll be sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, she doesn't sleep at 3. But she, she got to be working because we like, still work I'll together. Be <laughs> like, so she, she I tell all my clients I'm, on, I'm going on vacation. Like, I'm not trying to do no more work. You think they care? Imani, I need this. Imani, this. And what am I doing? I'm literally was working until it was time for me to get ready for this. Mm-hmm. And I got a question to you too, <laughs> even though I know you interviewed me. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask it, you. I don't think it worked like that, but go ahead. No, nah, because I want to ask you, because you're an entrepreneur too. Like, how do you, because yeah, I might need this little piece of advice. Um, what did you do as far as like when it was time for you to take a break? Because like, I don't know if I'm tripping. I don't know how but, to take like, a break. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I could, I, I don't care to. what's going on. I almost can't sleep, like, <laughs> cause it's like I my my sleep. future is like knocking on my door. What you write me the other day at two o'clock in the morning? She said, "Oops, I see somebody up working." I'm literally sending her emails. Mm-hmm. Two but o'clock it was, but it's even crazier. Like she's sending me emails at two, and I'm up and I got it. Mm-hmm. I'm reading it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like even for us, you know what I'm saying? Just just kind of getting our feet wet in it. For me, it's just like, yo, my future. Every day I open my eyes, I see it, and it's almost like I can't sleep. So like, I'm so hungry for it. It's ridiculous. For me, um, <laughs> to be honest, like, I think it might be different. Though. I'm a man, y'all, woman. We look at, like, totally different. I feel like, for me, it took a couple dollars. I'm going to keep it 100. Like, I told you, when I was in Baltimore, I'm, and I'm very transparent with this because, like, it's real. Like, mm-hmm. this is a whole different chapter of my life. Like, I've never, ever in my life seen this chapter. You feel me? So, like. The chapter that you're in right now or yeah, when you this, was in Baltimore? this chapter that I'm in now. Okay. So, it's like, because I'm doing my content and I'm getting my shit done, but I'm also getting a couple dollars in Baltimore. It was a nonstop fucking revolving door of me fucking working to pay my bills. Mm. And, like, I, it was just, it was ridiculous. Like, so now it's like my days are hard because I'm working double time because mm. I got my full-time job. Right. And I'm, like, mm. this ain't part-time. Right. Like, I'm literally editing while I'm in a meeting. Like, this ain't full-time. You know what I'm saying? But I said it to say, like, now that I got a couple dollars and also remember the, the vow that I made. You feel me? I said I'm never going to have to worry about, um having to, to know who I'm interviewing, right? right? So now I got probably five interviews in the tuck. I can literally choose. I can randomly choose who mm-hmm. I want to drop next week. That is what gave me, you know what? I'm about to go to Jamaica, right? I'm going to go to Jamaica with my girl because she want to do it and she deserve it. We're going to do that. We're going to have fun. And shit, I might edit this and drop this next week and I'm good. You mm-hmm. feel me? So it really, for me, it really took that, that comfort level of like to have enough bread to, to be able to chill. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I never really had some bread and I could be like... Or even like when it comes to this, I, I got content now. I could say we talking about away from monetary value, right? Mm-hmm. I got con- I got enough content where I could be like, I could chill for a week, right? And I still got five weeks. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. for me, that's what it took to be honest. Um, do do you think that goes off of um, I guess what kind of work you do though? Um, I, mean, I don't know. It depends the type of person you is because the first my first answer to your question would be, I never had that to be honest. Like people mm-hmm. say, how do you balance? I don't. Mm-hmm. I just don't. It is what it is. How, balance? What's that? Ain't no balance. Only balance I got is my girlfriend. Because why? Because she always say you need to find balance. So I give her balance. <laughs> I give her. To be honest, but besides that, ain't no balance. 
balance where? Mm-hmm. This I need this. I love this. I'm gonna keep doing it until right. I die. It is what it is. Shit fucking around drive me to my motherfucking death bed. But that's just me. I'm just being real. You feel me? So I couldn't answer that. But now, to be honest, I I, I got a little bit of structure. I got a team out here. I had a mm-hmm. team back home, but I got a team down here who helped me. And it's like you know what? Now I can be like, all right, I'm working. Yo, find me some trending topics. Yo, um, give me some drinks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And because we're a team and they understand that mm-hmm. everything I'm asking y'all to do, I'm doing myself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? My cameraman, they see everything I ask you to do. I didn't invest it in myself. It ain't nothing that I'm, I'm asking you that I wouldn't do myself. And I, I mean that. And, and that's why I'll never say like self-made because I'm not. I got a team that just yeah, help yeah, me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it without a team. Ever, it's almost me? impossible. So like that's, I mean, that's just me. Like, so like I got a team that helps me and my team, I think they like me because they know that. No, I'm not just t- I'm, yo do this. I'm not doing that. If I'm not doing it, every literally everything in this motherfucking spot, I didn't bought myself. So what's going on is I'm a, now I'm adding value. You know what? Because what happens is yeah, you want to be my intern or my assistant, whatever the case may be. Guess what? If you want to start your own thing, come get the key. Mm-hmm. Right. You got the cameras. You got the yeah. mics. This shit costs money. You don't got to pay for it. You got it. Yeah. You want to learn how to do it? I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Right. You feel me? I'm teaching you how to do it for me. But now I'm adding value to you because. Shit, you fucking around can make some money. You want to bring somebody in that want to do a podcast? Now you can rent it out to them. You feel right. me? I'm adding value to it. So, like, that's just where I'm at with it. You feel me? But when anytime you have a team, you want to add value to your team. But, I mean, whatever. We back. No. What, 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 <laughs> I'm what? up. No, that's good, though, because I feel like we talk about this all the time, and we recently just went live. And I think one of the questions on it was just, like, you know, what what's one of the things that motivate y'all? And I think our answer was just, like, mentors. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, for yes. me... I got good mentors, like mentors who black women who I've watched struggle, like who have had the same kind of lifestyle as me. That's what motivates you? Watching. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm going to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's not no. my motivation. What motivates you? That do. That do. Because when I see them excel, it's like, I know I can excel. I this, know it's room. I know it's space. I know it can happen. That's dope as hell. What, what motivates you? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> my son. And that's what I'm saying. I'm so cliche. But I... I would have never pushed this as hard as I'm doing if I didn't have my son. Let me tell you something. I'm not trying to be rude. No, sleep. Like, nah, 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 nah. It's answer nah, hit me up. Respectfully, I say this mm-hmm. with all due respect. Mm-hmm. You motivate yourself. Don't let your don't let your the mentors motivate you. Don't let your son motivate you because your son gonna come up at a, at a certain age and you don't know how y'all relationship gonna be. At the end of the day, that motherfucking mirror should motivate you <laughs> yourself. I'm I'm, no, no I feel that. I'm not gonna lie to you because what happens? I learned this at a young age. People can disappoint you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? At the end of the day, people are going to be people. And and we don't have no control over another person. And we can't decide what's right or wrong for that person. And what's right for them might not be right for us. And that's okay. And I feel like I was just talking to another young lady on this podcast. And I was like, it's sad because our miscommunication is where we go wrong. Our, like, just this, this us being different and wanting us to be the same. That's how we go wrong in relationships. Right. That's how we go wrong in friendships. And you feel me? And if you, if you, if you allow your... I'm not trying to be a motivation speaker right now. Yeah, I, no, I'm we, sorry. We get it, but I'm just passionate. No, I feel no, like if you put motivation, if you put your motivation in somebody else, then you can get disappointed by somebody else. So you could be demotivated by somebody else. Fuck that. One person ain't gonna let you you down is you. You feel no, me? At the end of the fact. day, True. like if 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 if, if, if can I change my answer? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm like, like I'm not trying. Saying. I don't want you to change your answer. I'm just saying. That, I, I, I believe in me saying. now. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. He just I always believe in me. me. Just, yeah, I'm, like, I'm just saying, like, you just spoke life to me like, now. I don't, I don't care. No, no, no. Keep your answer. I don't care about them. I'm keeping my answer. You can have two answers. Is the mic on? I don't like them now. Take it back. Take it back. I'm just saying, like, I like his answer and I believe in me. Guess what? Guess what? If you if you if you if your mentor will become a fucking pedophile. Day, you're gonna you, be like, I'm gonna be hurt. Yeah. You ain't got to stop working, thing? though. I used to look up to you. You ain't what's gonna stop working. Thing? Yeah, what's your whole thing? <laughs> you ain't gonna stop working, <laughs> though. Stop working. Yeah, He's like, like, oh, she damn. Don't... That's all like, I want her to stay far away from my platform. If so I don't know if we ask this. <laughs> I, I, we got it. Let's get back to y'all. I don't know if we ask this. What do you guys do? Because I know we've been talking, but we got a whole audience. I'm sorry. Like, what do you guys do? So, I know it's consulting, but like, what? So, it's really. Pull out the dictionary. I'm like, it's really, <laughs> ooh, okay. It's really separate. Um, It's separate, but it's kind of the same. I think what we do the same, social media management. Let's start there. Like, okay. together, we both could do social, social media, media management. Social media management. That's what we both did together, right? Okay. Um, and that's what I can book y'all for. I also do brand strategy, brand identity, digital marketing, things like that. So when people come to me, you can come to me and say, hey, I want to start a tequila business. I'm going to say, okay, let's literally strategize how we are about to 
plan out your business, promote your business on social media. Like I do the whole logo, the brand colors, um, the type of font you want to use. But the type of Imani, I do that shit myself. Why the fuck am I coming to you and do it? Do you do it yourself? Yeah. But do you I, understand? Do you understand the psychology of color? Do you understand the psychology of fonts? That's a good question. That's a good question, <laughs> right? So you understand the psychology. And not only I, do you do that, but do you create an actual up, content calendar, up, a up, strategy up, plan? Fuck you in this content calendar. Hold up. But no, he going to say that because we already discussed that, Jay. We already discussed that. Said, Child, this is beyond the podcast. Do you understand the psychology of color? Let's ask him that question. Okay. Go ahead. Because he don't know. What's two colors you see? The most in fast food restaurants. I'm not even on the mic. What's two yeah. colors and, you see in the mic? Because what's on, the two colors that you see on, on just about every single fast food restaurant? I don't know. Red and yellow. Why? That's the truth. Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. That's the answer. But why? That's the answer. But why? But why? I don't know. You don't know. I don't you don't, know. Know. don't even know where that comes from. You don't know what that does mentally to the brain. That it, go ahead. Explain it. Make it. me feel good. Just, just it tell me. Want to buy? Make me want to It make you want to buy. It makes you want to buy food when you see the color. When you see the color blue, what does blue represent? I don't know, calmness. I don't know. Calmness. I'm right. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you do okay. know. Maybe, maybe he doesn't need us. Nah, <laughs> nah I'm, I'm just, I come from me editing. So, like, when you say color, like, I like. I'm like, but you, you, yeah. you in the, you I in like the field. Things. I'm like, you, you in the communications field. So you understand. But I like, don't. I literally had no education. Well, you yes. in the field, though. You yes. said you do video editing. So yeah. I'm like, it's still, that's important. The type of font you use, if someone says, I love you, but type it. It's like a little creepy, scary font. You're going to be like, the fuck? Exactly. Mm-hmm. But it's like the Why little cute, lovely? bubbly. It's like the, oh, right? So people don't really understand that. They don't understand that having five different fonts on a post looks horrible. Mm. I'm sorry if you do have that. <laughs> but <laughs> having all of those colors, even when it comes to brand representation, like I told you earlier, I'm a very fun, outgoing person. My brand colors are like a hot pink, a, a light blue, a yellow, an orange. Like I'm very like, Pop, pop, pop color. It speaks to your personality. It speaks to my personality. When I first started my business, I I chose colors that I thought people wanted to see me in. Like real, like professional, like a nude, a dark blue. And I was like, ew. Like mm. I had no motivation for that. So people don't understand. They don't know. Right. And if I come to you guys, you guys are going to teach me this. And what if I already know it? Then what, what can you offer me? So we could teach you, but we actually perform the service for so, you. So yeah, it's not so like I'm the, giving so you. So that's what I'm going to say too. So. <laughs> So for me, um, obviously I do do some marketing too, um, but I would say that my strongest part is managing operations. Mm. So administration, like coming into your business and, and just getting it intact, why like being important, a strategist. Why, why? You know why? Staying or- no, no, staying organized. No, just, yeah, staying organized and being strategic. But, but administration work, is important because anything you do, anything that you do in your business, you need to organize it. You need mm-hmm. to plan it out. You need to schedule it. Or if you don't, it's not going to happen. Right. And that's the reality of it. Like I. Like, how you pay your bills? You write all your bills down. You know what dates they do. Do You know how much they do. No. Like, if somebody I comes to me, I'm like, I got auto pay. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> but, yeah, right but then you can be getting robbed. You can't pay extra services. They add something to your account. You don't know. Mm. So that's that's strategy. That's organizing. That's why operations. is that important to an entrepreneur or somebody that's doing business anyway? Because that's how people get over on you. That's how people get you out of more money, didn't even know that you was working for. And then that just keeps you on track to know what's going on in your business. You can't, you can't run your elevating. business without needs. Yeah. The more organized and admin that you have, the further you're going to be able to go. Mm. Um, and that's in anything. If you do nails, you do hair, right. you do photography. Um, I don't even know. I think I just recently was just one woman business owner. She just got recognized in the newspaper, and she's a um, like a traveling bridal. Like, she she takes her dresses and stuff like a traveling bridal boutique or something like that. Like, she very innovative. You know, very innovative. This is something that people probably need, especially during a time like this with COVID, you know what I mean? But organizing what that even looks like. Like, now you have the idea, but how do you execute? Mm. Like, how do you execute this? How do you get this from A to Z? Right. And and people don't never have the letters in between. Like, people look and Ever. they see the most famous people, and they be like, oh, my God, she got this, she got that. Like, yeah, but they she don't got... See and then we talk about... This, and that's just on the manager <laughs> operation. Side. For a perfect example, I'm going to just talk about marketing because that's what we kind of stuck at, Justin LeBoy. Look at his Instagram. That's strategy. That's strategy. Justin LeBoy is not getting up every single morning posting him. That's strategy that he's doing. Mm. It's like somebody is strategizing how he's putting that content out. Like, that's just that. And when it comes down to marketing, which I'm sure you know, even when you cut this video, whatever part of this video that you cut, you're going to cut the best piece, and everybody's going to watch it from there. They're going to have to. You know what I mean? So it's just all about, it's all about strategizing like that. Um, dang, did I get off? Um, no, a little bit organized was, oh, what you said was what do we do? 
that is basically site solutions and ek strategy you know what i mean like you get marketing and you get management um and that is if you have them two things in your business you're going to be successful um you need some couple other things you need a little finance you need other pieces but if you have the marketing piece down to get your brand out there but then you also have the administration and the operations piece down you're ready to go Mm. I feel like definitely um, planning out your business. I know a lot of times, and especially on social media now, which I absolutely hate, I will never condone this because um, somebody pushed me to do it, and I was not ready at all. I was so mad at myself for even allowing someone else to tell me when I was ready, right? Um, everyone, was, everyone wants to be an entrepreneur now, right? They want to do sell hair, do nails, sell clothes, any, everything, um, which is fine, but have a plan. I think social media now just be like oh let's just let's just wake up one morning and let me just buy mm -hmm. a bunch of clothes right a bunch of vendor clothes um, you start figuring out what you do well you're like oh i sew real good i'm just gonna start sewing but have okay. a plan because i feel like when you start before you are ready then you will be inconsistent like i was in the beginning i was very inconsistent because i was like i don't know I didn't even know who my target audience was. Like I told you, I had the wrong brand colors. I didn't know what I needed. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like, what did, did I want to do this for real? Did mm -hmm. I want to do that? I, didn't, I had no idea, but I had people in my ear like, oh, you're so good. Just push it out. Just push it out. And I did. And I backtracked like three mm -hmm. times. And I feel like that actually um, prevented me from growing. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy. Uh, I'm about to say helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very grateful for where I am now. I feel like... Um, but I feel like I did it on my own time. And I feel like now where I'm at because I did it on my own time and not really allowed mm -hmm. somebody to tell me. But I think you made a good point with the the, organ, the operations piece. Because so many people going to start and then they got to start over. Yeah. I mean, you never really start over. You just, but you got to refix it and refix it. If you it's come like out. You're, keep, you're constantly rebranding yourself. And right. people going to get, people probably got tired of me. They're like, how many times are you going to do this? Like, right. how many times are <laughs> you going to do this? And, and that's, that's operations. Like, for me and my own, my own site solutions by itself, like, I can't, because this is what I do for other business, I came out with a plan already. Right. Like, I already have my business plan. I already know I have goals I have set. I have right. a schedule. Like, it's just like, I don't know when you're going to the grocery store. You right, you just going to the grocery store tomorrow, I'm going to grocery shopping. Most people bring a list when they come in here. They know at least I'm going to have, you know, if I'm making Let me tell you, broccoli, RJ? fish, whatever. I, You have to have that. You can't. I don't know anybody that's a full-time entrepreneur or a part-time entrepreneur, like, or working full-time. You have to have some type of schedule or some organization or you won't go crazy. Uh, Jay writes us that's why I'm weekly crazy. schedules. She writes us weekly schedules. Monday, we're going to work on this. Tuesday, we're going to work on this. And, and, and I know that stress her out, like, but you know what? It's accountability. <laughs> it's accountability for me. You know what I mean? I get to see it. And I'm a business student, so I see things in black and white. See, she is, she, that's, why, that's why I say she's my missing piece because even though I have this skill of this kind of stuff, you know, having her, sometimes, for real, for it loosens me up sometimes. It make me think, like, RJ, you don't have to use an Excel spreadsheet every time. You know what I mean? Like, so, like I think I made a, a, something for her, and it was in black and white. And she I said, hated it. She was like, she <laughs> I said, like, can I please get some color? Said, you mean you put a little pink and red or something on there? <laughs> but for me, you know, and, and that's why we balance each other. But for me, it's just like, you know, I'm a businesswoman. You know what I mean? I see things in black and white. I see A, B, C, D. I see things. In, in chronological order, sequence. I'm um, like, she went to school for business. I went yeah. to school for So it's kind of like, so. <laughs> it's, it, I'd be like this, but what I realized is that this is why people need me, though, in their businesses. Um, because, you know, people only have what they do well. Yep. And, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like, this is what you do, and this is it. But then when I come in to her, like, even coming into her, and I'm like, all right, you do all of that, but let me add what I do well. Let me bring my strength to your business. And then I'm going to be able to show you how your business is even going to prosper. Like, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do well. So how, like, if somebody wanted to, like, um, again, sign up for your, uh, your business or whatever like that, and they want to bring you guys on, they want to hire you guys, how, how can they do it? Um, so they can click the link. I'm um, like, it's on Instagram. Yeah, so you can go on our Instagram. Both our websites is under <laughs> construction right now <laughs> because we're always building other people's businesses. What's your Instagram, RJ? Um, Site Solutions. LLC on Instagram and I am EK Strategy with an underscore on Instagram. I like this. I like this. Thank All right. You. Um, we're gonna hopefully some some people won't come fuck with y'all. I feel like y'all just dropped a lot of game. Um, I we like did. that. That's why I let y'all drop that game. Like that. I just let y'all. Because <laughs> I was thinking in my mind, let like, them talk. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm gonna say on this one, but nah, good shit, man. I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. Uh, thank you, Jay. I just want to yes, say thank you thank so much because I feel like um, I just want to say this. I know we're about to close out. Is that when um when I first launched launched Site Solutions, um, I was like, my business just came out of nowhere and I just popped up with it. And I kept telling myself, like, when I like, how am I going to tell people about this business? 
Um, and then I knew like my first interview or my first opportunity to get this out here, I want to do it on your podcast. Mm-hmm. And I had been watching your podcast like like a little stalker. Um, cause I cause obviously I knew Jay because you the bros, I'm the Rays, and I um you went to Morgan, I was Mr. Omega for beta, and um I, I had been watching your podcast forever. You you're separate, and then I think you had one with your girlfriend. Um, and I've been watching it. And so I knew, like, whenever I get the opportunity, as soon as I launch and I get my story out there about where Site Solutions came from, I, I got to do it on J Podcast. Like, that's the first way I wanted to get out there. So I just want to humbly say I appreciate you giving me yes, the opportunity. We and definitely Imani. appreciate you. Um, now I'm going to say RJ is that person. I tell you all the time. I was like, RJ is a lot more outgoing than I am. She definitely be like, I'm going to get us this. And I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> nah, for real. So, <laughs> so nah, I appreciate it. But nah, like, definitely, Jay, like, you really doing your thing. Like, seriously. You are. Like, for real, for real. No, nah, I thank you. I, um, it, it's, it's, that's, that's special, for real. Like, I, I really, I know I'm not showing emotions about it, but like, I'm, I, when I say that, like, I hear so many people say that, like, people like, yo, like, Trav came in, like, when I get a million followers, I want to come over. Like, I'm like, and these people that's like doing shit, and I'm like, damn. But nah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, y'all get some clients from this. I'm seriously uh considering fucking with y'all for real on some business shit. I never done it, but I'm thinking about it. Oh, God. We think we're, we're gonna think have to change should. his life. I'm about to say we, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty y'all sure. Y'all expensive two thousand dollars an hour. I can't do it. But Listen. yo, fuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jay Hill. It's a wrap, man.